What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we got a rig down. Uh, in a previous video we talked about challenges with our flux rig. We just built this last week. So I powered the sucker down. Uh, it, this isn't a very complicated rig. I powered down the ATX, I powered down the power supply, and uh, this was running right off a of wireless. We had it running in our mining room for a little over a week and uh, powered it down and I carried it up to a spare bedroom to heat that spare bedroom. Plugged it in, ATX power supply there, powered it on and the cards kind of powered on goofy. Um, and the motherboard powered on but nothing really ramped up and uh, never saw anything in Hive OS. So I'm like, what is, you know, it's kind of the, uh, it's always something, you know, as a miner, it's always something. So I started the troubleshooting process. Um, I unplugged all my GPUs from the uh, splitters and uh, powered up the rig. And it doesn't even boot uh, and boot to Hive OS at all with just the motherboard, a CPU, and the solid state drive. Um, so I was like, oh man, this sucks. So I went ahead and powered, you know, powered it all up, packed it up, brought it back down here and started to troubleshoot it some more. So I hooked up a monitor to it into the HDMI port. Now, granted, I had turned off the um, internal graphics, the AMD graphics that runs off the Raven with the AMD. So I knew I had to get that back up and running. So I was curious on like, would that work if there were no external cards connected? I got nothing for video. I went ahead and pulled the CMOS battery which traditionally works. Uh, pulled it for about five minutes, no luck. I pulled it for about, I pulled it overnight, no luck. Uh, there is a BIOS jumper right over here. I did that, no luck. I have been able to get zero video at all out of this to figure out what it's going on. It has not posted to HiveOS at all. So where are we? Well, in a previous video, we talked about this equipment here. We just got these boards in from China. These are the MSI Z. 170A mining M7 uh, motherboards. They have seven PCI slots here. So we're gonna go ahead and swap out this B250 uh, ASRock motherboard that has two PCI slots and we've been utilizing these splitters. And we're gonna go ahead and install it into here. Now, today we're gonna use an i3 6100 processor. Got it off eBay for $60. We got the boards for $42. Shipped from China, 65 additional dollars, but these have seven PCI slots on them. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and power this down. Uh, I shouldn't say power it down, it's already off. <laughs> Long day, right? I'm gonna strip this down uh, the best, that, the most that I need to. I don't need to go crazy. You know, I, I have you know, some nice cable management here. So I'm probably gonna remove these two GPUs, uh, 1070 Ti and a 1070 Ti and uh, we'll get the motherboard put in place and then we'll get everything powered up and good to go. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. I'm not, I'm a little hesitant to see what, where things go, but we'll see what happens. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and power off the camera and when I come back, we'll see how we do. All right, guys, give you a quick update. We pulled the B450M that we're having issues with. I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep that. Need to troubleshoot it, figure out what is going on with it, what exactly happened. Here is our new board here, uh, the Z170A. Dude, this heatsink, I mean, this is a $16 heatsink. It's so easy to install. Um, it's got a nice little back plate you just put on right on the back there, and then you just take this guy, put it on, screw in, bam, 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 plug it in, and you're done. Like, so easy. Uh, we have our memory installed as well. Uh, other than that, I, I didn't realize, and I thought I'd share with you guys, check this out. Can I get a good angle on this? Look at this. There's a power button right built into the motherboard and a reset button. And I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. It's like, don't press the red button. It's almost like it's got a dial on it and everything. So I don't even know, I gotta look at the manual. Uh, I'll take a look because here, look, there's like a slow button left and right on this thing. You know, you have a BIOS flash. This, this motherboard has every feature I feel like. Look, we got our little LED post readouts here. Like, this is ridiculous. $42, unbelievable. 
I mean, check it out. It even has a full, like, a really decent onboard audio card as well. Um, it's got Type C on here, USB 3.0, Ethernet. It's got just like everything. It's awesome. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to keep this going uh, with this build. And uh, I mean, I don't even need my little power button. That's awesome. So as of right now, we're pretty much good to go. So I'm going to get it installed, plugged in, powered on uh, with none of the cards. Make sure we're good. And then we'll get the cards plugged in. So hang tight. Okay, we got everything installed. Um, HDMI plugged in, USB for a keyboard plugged in. This is such an easy install with this board so far. So I'm in love. This may be my staple. We'll see. I haven't powered it on yet. Uh, so we have power to our ATX board. None of our graphics cards are plugged in at all. You can see back here, uh, I'm going to zoom in with the camera real quick. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Trying to get it. There we go. Our power button. I guess I could have just went like this, right? <laughs> our power button is on. Um, we got like a red light in the corner there next to that weird red button that I have no clue what it is yet uh, but I guess we'll have to go ahead and find out um, so we're good to go so let's reach in here heck yeah oh check that out is there really oh wow look at that underneath this board has red RGB like red LED lights in it look that match inside this port there's some more over here oh check it out heck yeah Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that like it wasn't just like me, like this setup. It like the motherboard definitely was the problem or CPU or something within there. Uh, but okay, so we're getting it to boot, which is awesome. Happy to see that. Hive OS is coming up. This is ridiculous. Like why everything is working. Uh, honestly, guys, I think I spent four hours on that on that motherboard as to like why moving it and all of a sudden everything broke apart. And it's getting for waiting for network, which makes sense, which is cool. I'm really tempted. Okay, so there's a reset button back in here. I know the camera doesn't do justice. Ow, it just shocked myself. You guys probably heard it on the camera. Okay, I zoomed in. Let's get the camera steady. Okay, so we got a power button and a reset button. And do I just press this red button here? It's so tempting. Do I press it? Let's press it. All right, it doesn't do anything. And there's a little knob on it. Let's see how I turn the knob. I didn't do anything either. Okay, so I need to look up in the manual what that does. We'll find out, but oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so next thing what I'm gonna do uh, is we're gonna go ahead and get our cards plugged in uh, with uh, PCI uh, adapters uh, from GPRisers.com. That's what we're using here. I actually have them, where are they at? Right here? Yep, right here. I got a whole bag of them. Instead of just like individual, I've gone out and just kind of stripped them out. So let me get these installed and we'll see how we make out. Quick update here where we stand. Um, so we had some trouble. It booted the first time I showed you guys that. That was awesome. Um, and then I tried to plug in uh, the GPUs and then I couldn't get it to post any video, even with the GPUs unplugged. So what I did was I did some reading. I was getting these, I was reading these postcodes here and it was giving me a postcode of 22 saying an issue with the memory. So I reseated the memory and bam, lo and behold, we got things to boot back up. So I was taking a look at the BIOS, decided to go ahead and see if there was an update. Say hello to the dog down there sleeping. And uh, yeah, we were on a version of the BIOS from 2015. So we grabbed a 2018 BIOS here. We're applying that now. And then you know that little red knob that we were looking at? It's actually a like gaming overclock uh, feature uh, that I was looking at here. Uh, let me see if I can quickly find where that was. There, it, there was a brief explanation of it. You gotta love these manuals, right? They're so detailed, which is nice. But oh my God, okay, here it is right here. Game boost knob. This knob allows you to manually select a stage from number zero to 11 for overclocking your CPU. The CPU's voltage and frequencies will be automatically adjusted after you power on your computer. So I just set that to zero um, because right now we have like an i3 6100T in there, like nothing crazy. Uh, it's pretty sweet though. If this was a gaming rig, this would be pretty cool to play with. Uh, but as of now, we're letting our BIOS update. It looks like it's just about done. Uh, then I'm gonna jump into the BIOS. I want to set, these are actually on the 
system fan three slot, our cooling fans. So I wanna go in and I wanna max those out. Traditionally, those are very low. So I wanna max those out to get some great airflow over the cards. Uh, and then from there, I wanna go through the BIOS just to make sure like 4G decoding is on, uh, Gen 2 if we need to for our PCI slots, and then we'll be off to the races. So I'll check back in a few minutes. Alrighty, I am a happy camper. I am also back mining flux, which is <laughs> two days of being down. I'm super excited. Uh, yeah, everything's back up and running, which is awesome. We're actually running on wireless right now on the TP-Link little USB dongle. Uh, I'll put a link down below to that video if you guys are interested. We have our six GPUs up and running, no problem. We actually have a seven slot there uh, that we could add another GPU if we wanted to uh, at a future date. All six GPUs are up, our 2060, our 1080, I'm um, oh, sorry, 2060, our 1070 Ti, our 2060 Super, 1070 Ti, 1070 Ti, and 1070 Ti. Uh, other than that, yeah, guys, I'm excited. Uh, we are set and good to go. If I take a look back over here, we can see our rig is in a good spot. We're back up to just about 260 souls right now. And uh, yeah, so I'm hoping to, I'm gonna throw this back in our mining room right now, let this run for a few days. And then I'm hoping to get this back installed up in our spare bedroom to start providing some heat up there. I'll do a future video on that uh, and share that with you guys. That's it for today. Uh, if you guys are looking for flux overclock settings, I did a video uh, just the other day on this. I have a whole spreadsheet now with boatloads. What are we up to? How many cards are we up to right now? Let's take a look. We have 80 or 75 different overclock settings for flux ranging from a 3090 right there all the way up to a 1060 three gigabyte. So check that out. I'll put a link down below. Other than that, guys, thank you guys very much for watching today. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.